she handed the dog to me and she coughed and I said, is this dog sick? To which she replied, I haven't heard that. She must have just drank water wrong. I did try to get the dog back from you and all you did was no, you scream didn't. in it. Okay. Yes, all right, did. okay, you all two you are not going to wind up being friends. Today I'm going to be the bill collector because I'm going to collect my money. She came to me crying. I'm gonna give you a car, baby brother. See, he does not want to deal with any family member because if, see, if he can't stuff. get his way, it's his way or no way. Plaintiff Dorianne Stroll is suing the defendant for $2,175 for selling her what she says is one sick puppy. Defendant Jordan Sarkany says the puppy was in perfect shape when she sold it. So if it's sick now, that's the plaintiff's problem. It's case number 37 on the docket, Stroll versus Sarkin. Welcome to both of you. We have the plaintiff, Ms. Stroll, and you are suing the defendant, Ms. Sarkany, in the amount of $2,175 for selling her a sick dog. Uh, what is, yeah, what is your case? Um, so I found the ad on Craigslist yes. um, that basically said that these dogs were mini Australian Shepherds. Um, Jordan made it seem that the she was the breeder um, and I'd be getting the dogs from there. Did she um, tell you she was the breeder? She talked, to, she talked about the parents of the dogs and having the dogs, so I, I, just, I guess I just assumed with okay. that. She had an Instagram, which I no longer am able to find. Um, I paid her deposit on a Sunday. We agreed to meet the next day on Monday. Okay. As soon as she handed the dog to me, the dog coughed. And I asked her, is this dog sick? And she You're said... You're lying. You're so lying. The dog did not cough until the end of the day. This... <laughs> I'm 100% not lying. The dog... She handed the dog to me and she coughed and I said, is this dog sick? To which she replied, I haven't heard that. She must have just drank water wrong. I have no I idea. Have a, she was vet examined before. So. I have a vet... I have a video. Um, Oh, can, I, can we see the of video the of the... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so... So, so the... when she handed the dog to me and she coughed and I said, is this dog sick? And she said, no, she must have just drank water wrong. Okay? Yes, yep. I believed her because she, to what I thought was a breeder, who would sell a person a sick dog. Right. We drove home, I told her the dog coughed in the car on the way home, and I text messaged her from the very next morning that the dog had had diarrhea all over the crate. The dog was coughing the entire next day. She wasn't eating, like, and all of these text messages started from the very, like, when I was in the car on the way home from picking the dog up. Okay, when you, when you first took the dog, did, did you hand her any documentation yes, of... She, signed a, she had a vet work and a contract which she signed. And what... what so you had the dog uh, checked by a vet? A vet, just like a And few what days did the vet say? What was... Do I have a copy there, of that report? Uh, she has a copy. Um, what did the vet it. say that... Did the vet comment that the dog had been... No comment. No comment. There was... The whole litter went in. No comment. They went in for vet... Uh, for vaccination and deworming. If the dog was sick, he would have never done any of that. Okay. Go ahead. Can I? So yes. she got the dog checked maybe a little over a week before I got the dog. The dog was five pounds. When I brought the dog to the vet the next week later after I got the dog, the dog was four pounds. So clearly the dog went down in weight because it was sick. Right. Okay. I brought the dog the vet to the vet. Yep. Two days after picking up Tazzy, she had pneumonia, parasites, she was anemic, and they told me that she didn't know that if she was going to make it, to which I told Jordan that the dog was sick and had pneumonia. I have evidence here. And her response was, I don't know what to tell you. All right. There's no question that at that moment the dog was sick. With all these diseases or conditions that the dog has, which isn't being disputed, the vet found this, the question is, could the dog have gotten all of that within two days? In other words, the dog... That's why I have a pet agreement. I can't be liable for anything that happens after the dog leaves my care. Your Honor, the dog oh. was completely anemic, meaning her tongue and gums were white. That doesn't happen in one day. She had black diarrhea. She was not eating the food that you told me she was eating the day before. She didn't eat that food. After I took her to the initial vet, they said, if you don't see a change, if you don't see her start to get better in the next 24 hours, bring her back. 
and then I bring the dog back and she's starting to be on the antibiotics. I wake up in the middle of the night to find my dog not with me in bed, but hidden behind the toilet bowl, her body completely on fire because she was going to die. And that when I brought her to the emergency, and this is another, this is her in an oxygen tank hooked up to IVs, and them telling me that the dog um, would have died that? if I didn't bring her in. And this is still within the first week now. This is the second time she had to go to the vet in the first week of me having her. Wow. Okay. It is hard for me to believe that in just two days, all of these conditions, which would take more than two days to happen, that they weren't a result of the condition of the dog before the dog was sold. Mm -hmm. You're suing for two thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars. She just wants a free puppy. You what? The, she just wants a free puppy from the day start. She wanted. She. She paid for it via PayPal credit. I'm not surprised. Okay. First I'm of all, not she give also. You... I have also. I have another piece of evidence that is very important to this case. So. Another woman who also bought a dog from her disputed a PayPal charge because... It was a deposit. Right. And she disputed a deposit. And you thought it was me. She, she said, when are you going to return the dog, ma'am? And I said, that's not me. And she said, you, you're lying. The PayPal's refunded you the money. And I said, no, they haven't because I've paid for the dog. She then sends me a screenshot, really smart, a screenshot so? of another woman who was disputing a dog. It's paid a dispute for, the, for a for right. a deposit. She never got another the dog. I'm not saying that's not a nice dog. argument either, but it doesn't have it doesn't have to do with this case. You're not interested in giving the dog back. No. You love the dog. I paid for the dog. Okay. I want to be excluded okay. first for the vet bill. I did oh. try to get the dog back from you, and all you did was no, you scream didn't. in it. Uh, yes, all right, did. okay. You, you two are not going to wind up being friends. I get that. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I don't think uh, you've been evil in this case, but I do believe that the dog had some illness prior to the time that it was purchased. Mm -hmm. And ne let's say neither of you knew it, mm -hmm. okay? So you're angry at each other, but neither of you knew it at the time. I'm not gonna give you the money you spent on the vet, but I do believe that you ought to get back what you paid for that dog because it was not what either of you thought you were purchasing. I fine for the plaintiff in the sum of fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. He's a spoiled, privileged little bitch, and just wanted a free puppy. I have plenty of nice happy language. customers. Nice language. Plaintiff Helen Hill is suing her baby brother for nineteen hundred dollars for failing to pay for a car. Defendant Roscoe Hill says his big sister originally wanted to give him the car for free, and now. She's trying to hustle them. Case number 97 on the docket. You got Hill versus Hill. All right. We have, oh, brother, sister here. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have the plaintiff, Ms. Hill. Yeah. You are suing your brother, Mr. Hill, for $1,900 for unpaid car bills. Yes. What's that about? I'm here today because my brother, Roscoe Hill, I sold him a car back in 2018, an amount of $2,500, uh, with a promissory note I put together for him to pay me. But it seemed like to me, as soon as I gave him the, the car and the keys for the car, he took off running with it. And I've been chasing him ever since, trying to get the balance old on this car. What, what was the deal? Okay, now back in June of 2018, yeah. um, uh, I had a car that I was going to sell to my neighbor across the street. Yes. But my, I knew my brother needed a car, so I had my sister contact she him. You know, so one. she called him. Right, I got the floor. On. She called him and uh, for him to contact me. So I said, I got you a car, so I know you need a car because he was taking a ride with someone else. So to you get didn't back sell it to, to the person across the no, street? No, because I cut the price and sold it to my brother because I know he needed I have a good heart. So I said, I'm going to sell you my car. So he said, oh, I great. Good looking out. Good here. looking out for me. Good looking out. They call me Dolly. Good Feel looking me. out for you, Dolly. So what I did was I went to pick him up and took him to the Secretary of State where I was able to transfer all, all the, the title of the car. I had to show proof of leniency to show that sure. the lien was off. I, uh, once I got the car cleared, uh, that was in June, I said, well, we'll set up payments where you'll start paying me in July, July of 2018. So this is your Father's Day. Can I see the document? Sure, whereby, I've got documents here. I, that's his Father's Day what? I said, this is Father's Day, so you can ride for Father's Day, but your payments don't have to start until July of 2018. So don't worry about anything. You start paying me in 30 days. Okay. So that was and my this, agreement. Okay, now let me look at this. For me. Sure. Cry. The agreement, sell my car agreement as yeah. is. Right. Uh, uh, I, Helen Hill Campbell, 
Uh, the sister of Roscoe agreed to sell the vehicle, the 2003 Mercury Mountaineer Premier, as is, 180,000 miles on it for uh, $2,500. That's correct. And there is a picture of the car. Okay? Yes, that's the car. You're selling that for $2,500. Yes, I did. Uh, no down payment. In monthly installments, 250 a month for up to a year. Yes. Well, that would come to three thousand dollars, right? Well, I said I'm giving him a year because there may be times where he wouldn't have the oh, okay. two fifty. Okay. And I but said, as well, soon I'll work as he with got you. to two hundred. Right. It, it should right. It should have been paid off. But as soon as you get to twenty five hundred, and you pay the first week of the month. Right. And uh, and you signed this. No yes, doubt. He I signed it. No doubt. Okay. And what do you have to say about okay. it? Okay. This is what I'm gonna say. She came to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not even with that that little agreement, no. She came to me yeah. after her daughter's wedding. When her daughter got married, she came to me the next day because we had to take the little tux back or whatever, whatever. But she came to me crying. Oh, yeah, thank you for coming to my wedding, my daughter's wedding, and you did this, and I know you're going to be there. You make, a, you make a way every time to come through. I'm going to give you a car, baby brother. Diddy, did which they call my father. Yeah, Diddy, uh told me this to help my baby brother out. Okay, cool. And then it come about, she come with this, uh, that $25 thing. You know what I'm saying? But be, why be, did you sign it? If, if, if it was a gift, why did you sign it? Did she give you a reason for it? No, she's, uh, just because I guess for the money, but and then to sign it, because I, I needed a ride, though, too. I ain't gonna hold you, but I needed a ride. Then, yeah. I, like I said, she, was, she kept saying, oh, I'm gonna look out, I'm gonna look out, I'm gonna look out. And then she come with that. But then I done look in the little Kelly Blue Book, you know what I'm saying? The car ain't even worth no twenty five hundred. What's it worth? What six hundred dollars? Seven hundred dollars? Do we have the blue book? Yes, we do. Seven twenty two. It ain't worth no twenty five. So I take it like she been trying to rob me anyway. You feel me? Like what you? No, I'm not gonna feel you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, why? Uh, <laughs> well, Your Honor. So that's the, <laughs> well, I know. I, that's I, I, the I, other show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, no doubt. You're right. I don't want that to happen. But check this out. Like, then, like I was saying though, like it ain't even worth that. And she came. She came to me like you know, like she wanted to help me out. And then like the reason why I wasn't been paying the payments because. I had to get doors. And right now, the, the, the car is going out. You know what I'm saying? The, okay, the, what is the, the blue book value? The engine oil is mixing with the The blue book value is $722. And she wants that car, which we saw, it's $722. But she wants to charge me twenty five hundred. dollars You're so selling it to him for, for $2,500. Judge Jerry, he agreed. He asked me. He called me asking for the car. After I found out whether we could talk to each other, he said, yeah, I need a car. I need a car to get to work because I'm tired of catching rides with everybody. I said, well, I'm wow. selling it for $2,500. Do you want to buy it for $2,500? He told me, yeah, I would pay the $2,500. I said, well, let's write up an agreement to see what you have to pay. But How are you going to pay me? The car was only worth seven. I didn't know. When I looked up the car, you knew that. when I looked up the car, it was it was worth thirty five, and that's why I was going to sell it to my neighbor mm -mm. across the street. It was not worth seven hundred dollars. Okay. In your original statement, yes. uh, in your filing, you said that your husband told you not to. He give... told me not to deal with family members and to sell the car. And my husband did not want me to do this. That's correct. And, and you wrote in your statement, you said your sister said, "quote She didn't want her husband to know." that she had just given me the car and asked me to sign a note saying I would pay $2,500 for it. I signed the paper knowing it was only for show, but did agree to pay her something for the car. I gave her $600, which is the Kelly no. Blue Book. Value. Okay, right. is that true? True. Like I said, but she was supposed to give it to me for free. She said, oh, yeah. And then she told me, oh, yeah, like after the wedding, she, like I said, she came to me. I, I have to ask you on, if you knew that looking at the car, even if you hadn't yet looked at the blue book value, that this is not a $2,500 car that's back from 2003 with 180,000 miles on it. So she was already you, trying you, to get You down know your way around the no, world. No, no, no doubt, no I'm, doubt. No I'm going to guess that you've had some street smarts. Oh, yeah, Why oh, would rip. you pay $2,500 for a car that you know is not worth more than six, seven hundred dollars, and you not only did that, but you signed a contract for it. You right. must have known that that was going to come back to bite you. Yes. The court I, looks at no, this. No, I didn't think it was going to bite me like this from my big sister, like for, from her baby brother. But like I said, I, I did sign it, but. I, I, I damn near done pay what the car is worth. And on the blue book value, it was only seven twenty two. Right? I get that. Right. Yeah, you but know what I'm saying? But that's on you. Thank you. You no knew it. Right. So, she, so I just and got hustled. And if hustle. I were your best friend... Big sister I... just hustled me there. I feel you. 
If I were your best friend, no I'd say, look, but did are you told me nuts? To in my dream, all that, but no doubt, she hustled me, for sure. See, and I'm trying to figure out what is y'all mad about? about? He's always nothing, mad, man. no matter what you, you got... say, he's always mad. Well, I, I can't mad. fix I'm that. I'm yeah. I do I'm wonder, mad. you're a big sister. Yeah. You now know, whatever you knew in yeah. the past, you now know that the car is worth only $700. I know now, but yeah. But yeah, now you know. I know now. And I'm Definitely. saying, because you now know, mm -hmm. you have it in your heart, the possibility to say, you know what, brother? Because you are legally right. You hear me? You are legally right. There's no argument. You're right. He's wrong. The point is... He's your younger brother. Say, you know what? I'll take the $700. You can say that, and there's your relationship. Is it really worth all of this? That's what I Because you're not getting, is, remember, I you're know. not getting a bad end of the deal here because the car is only worth that. So it's not like I'm taking money out of your pocket. It's here. like, I, I want to give you a chance to fix the relationship. I can't force you to. I don't want to do that. Because you don't I, want to fix the relationship. I don't want to do it like, because yeah. see, he does not want to deal with any family member. Because see, family if he can't stuff. get his way, it's his way or no way. He knew when he filled stuff, the paperwork so out that this is what he's going to do. Now, he texts me All over right. and over and over, saying, I'm on my way with this money. He's been, he used the phrase, I'm not trying to spin you, Dolly. But I'm standing spinning. here dizzied in the mug because I'm going in circles trying to catch my money from him. I'm spinning. I, never, no, I see light stars and everything. I am so tired of him telling me anything and everything. All right, okay. He's, he hold up his All end right, of the All right, hang on. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, it is my judgment that you could do better in this case as a big sister by being bigger than him and just saying, but you legally have the right not to have to do that. I don't want to and so therefore, if you're not willing to bend, no. I have to say that there is judgment for the plaintiff in the sum of $1,900. Thank you, Judge Jerry. I feel that the judgment was uh, on time and on point because he do he knew what he was signing and he knew what he wanted. That's how family is. They money hungry anyway. I ain't shocked. I think the judgment, Judge Jerry, you did the right thing. It was in my favor. Thank you.